sustainability kind of has to come into it now. Like, you know, the efficiencies have to be got right. Okay, Jack, uh, you're farming here in partnership with your parents, Larry and Annette, for yeah, many years? Yeah, I'm here now five years. I, I left in 2014 um, and after being spent two years in Kildartan. And um, then we started out the partnership, partnership straight away. And we it's basically just a succession plan, really, you know. Very good, yeah. Um, just, it's, a, it's a conversation everyone needs to have with their parents, really. So, and their parents need to have with their son, whoever initiates it. But, um, and how many hectares are you farming in total here, Jack? So we farm 79 in total and 47 and hectare, uh, the 47 hectares on the milking platform. Okay. So the rest is rented. And currently you're milking how many cows? 140 cows with the plan to go to 150 next year and that's the expansion. That, that, that's yeah. your expansion finished and you know, uh, stocking rate wise, where do you want to bring that to? Overall 2.4. Yeah. It's three, three, three and a half here. Like you've joined this program, what, what do you hope to get out? Like you've got to your numbers of 150 cows. What, what do you hope to get out of it? Well, I suppose like going forward, it, just to be sustainability kind of has to come into it now. Like you know, the efficiencies have to be got right. So it has to be kind of manageable for ourselves going forward. We have to have a life out of it. We have to become basically more financially aware and yeah. you know better forward planning and kind of. I suppose better review of what you've been doing as well, and then on top of that, then to kind of uh, the environmental side of it is look, it's going to be something we're going to all have to deal with going forward. Yeah, like I see, so, I see down below you've a nice well down below. Of it. Yeah, shallow well, well, yeah. shallow well down yeah. below, and you've a stream, and that's all fenced off. Your yeah, that's part of has to be it has to be clean, like you know. And I suppose like we we built a shed there now in the la last year, and that's you know it, the slurry has to go. You have to have enough slurry storage, the slurry different has to go the right way and it all has to be kind of kept where it should be. Where it should be. And, and, and labour-wise on the farm, what's the yeah. labour currently? I know your mother and your father are very actively involved in the farm. Yeah. Uh, but you have other labour as yeah, well. Yeah, no, we, we, we've, we've alleged hopefully starting soon down now to, to meet cows for us at the weekends and stuff like that, just so we have a bit more time to ourselves. Because there's no point in doing more work during the week and wearing yourself out, it has to be you know, like socially sustainable, so it's for, for, going forward. Grass, at the end of the day, grass is the most important thing, you know, and look, it's the cheapest way of feeding your cow, so yeah. why not make the most of it, you know. And you've a good you've a good herd of cows, you would have been involved in different projects through more pack and you've a good herd of cows, but you think there's more out of it? The past few years we've been expanding, so we couldn't really mature the herd, you know, yeah. we were bringing in too many heifers, but I suppose going forward, I, I'd like to get more out of cow by giving them better grass, but on top of that, then maturing the herd, you know, focusing on a compact calving and bits and pieces like that. Yeah, you know. so the, the DBI, increasing DBI of the herd. Yeah.